Hello and welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. I'm Tony King and in this tutorial we will be making this. Hey guys, sorry for the bad shot, but uh, I really want, want you to see this. And uh, yeah, just check it out. Alright, there you have it. Pretty neat effect of uh, lifting an object, um, a 2D object, from your scene and uh, without any third party plugins which is also great so um what we want to have first in our footage in our actual footage let me solo uh, my actual video here what we want here is just to have our prop or whatever we're picking up just sitting there then after I um I just did my little act right there just talked I then moved I just threw the pen on the ground basically and um, so that's that's the basic um, get rid of it effect so if, if you do that then the pen will just disappear and so what I did was I got a, a uh, screenshot of the uh, or um, what do you call it a freeze frame of the shot without the pen and if you solo this all you see is I have the just that part of the of the paper and the table and I just put that there so then there is just the paper without the pen so then the next thing I did was that I created a freeze frame of, an, of uh, the shot and then I masked out the pen alright so let me go to the beginning of the shot just uh, right right about here as you can see if you zoom in I do have just this, um, whoops, just the pen um, masked out, and then the mask settings. Just to add a little bit of contrast. I added four feathers. If you do too much feather, then the pen will disappear. So four works for me. And uh, of course, this changes for um, every single effect you do because you might not be lifting a pen and it will probably be in a different way or a different position so next thing I did was um, I moved the anchor point from the middle of the whole image to the middle of the pen so with the rotations it rotates from the middle and uh, if you want it to rotate from any other end of the pen of course you just move the anchor point there so um, as you can see in my P and P positions I did position the the pen various different moments I did easy ease these um, these keyframes if you want to know how to do that just select one right click keyframe assistant and easy ease that basically makes it more of a smooth um, smooth animation I guess and so basically I tried to follow my hands sort of with the pen it with different positions so if you do look at here and look at all these positions it looks pretty pretty wicked and then I hit R and I had several R rotations every five or so frames I guess and I made some moments where it was a bit more shaky some where it was less shaky just you know to make it seem like it was sort of a novice or um, effect you know yes and uh, what I wanted to do then was here if I turn off my effects you can see that there is no shadow it didn't look really real and my drop shadow is not that great I just did this really quickly um, so it's not perfect but um, I basically just added the drop shadow effect and if, you, if I hit you you can see all my keyframes here um, from drop shadow I started the opacity and I left it to 21 from from about 15 at the very start and I just changed the direction and distance several moments just to make sure that it stayed on the table and I put the softness up to 49 just so that it's not too harsh like that and it sort of blends in and you know it just looks a little bit it it's easier to hide that it's a, that it was a poorly done effect I just did it really quickly um, next what I added was a Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur that just adds a little bit of detail to um, not make it look so obvious that it's fake. And uh, that's the basic effect. So 
the keys here on this adjustment layer by the way is just my color correction and um, so the basic concept here is you want to have sort of a clean area as you can see um, this is a very um, pretty simple concept right here um, just have a clean area of under the object and then all you have to do is mask out the object and lift it up with your animation with position rotation scale whatever you want to do and um, yeah that's the basic concept if you this is not 3d model so you can't really make any 3d animations other than moving it forwards and backwards but uh, for this sort of animation it looks pretty good I think and uh, yeah I hope I hope this helps for any projects of yours and um, anything like that if you have any questions about this comment down below if you have any requests for other tutorials make sure to comment down below and if you do like this video make sure to like it and uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel for more content coming out soon and uh, yeah thanks for watching